In this video we're going to take a look at the milkshake challenge on Hack the Box. It's a easy stego challenge and the challenge description says can you bring all the boys to the yard? Uh, I completed this challenge about three years ago so I can't remember what um, what the solution was so let's go and check this out. It's an mp3 file this time. Okay, So copy the file over the local directory. Let's do some basic file checks. So we'll just confirm first of all the file type. It is yet yeah, mp3 file. We can still have a look to see if there's any strings in it. Do dash n10. Um, you can see here the lame 3. It's like the encoding that you see in mp3 files. Um, Okay, I guess some metadata here as well. Let's actually try and run the exif tool on it. Um, okay, invalid ID3. We don't get, I was expecting to see the, what looks like the author here, Chad Hugo slash Farrell Williams. But um, maybe not. All right, so um, what else can we do here? Let's try foremost. And see, did it download? Did it uh, extract anything? Didn't seem to. Um, we can do apt cache search search MP3. That's gonna be too much for MP3. Search. Let's all right. Let's just search Steg again. See, was there anything here with audio? Steg cracker brute force, and it doesn't specify whether it's audio or not. Um, okay. Don't see anything specifically there, so we might need to do some research. Have a look in Google. Let's see if we play the file. I think I have my speaker off in here. So it's just the the song as we'd expect. Um, so let's. Uh, I feel like we're probably going to need to move over to Windows where I've got where we can look at some audio tools, even just um, uh, Audacity, and um, I have some. I think I have some other tools on there as well to look at uh, audio files. So we might need to move over, but let's have a look on on Google first to see what kind of tools are available to us. So I'm going to search for audio stego. And all right, we've got this uh, list of tools that we were looking at previously. Let's see what they have for audio. Binwalk can be used for audio, but we use Foremost, which is pretty similar. All right, Sonic Vis Visualizer, um, Wave Steg as well, Python 3 tool that can hide data in Wave files. But ours was MP3, wasn't it? File Milkshake, yeah, MP3. Um, Okay, Zsteg. It's just images. All right, so uh, Sonic Visualizer. Let's have a look at this. Sonic Visualizer can be downloaded here. Works on Linux as well. So let's we can set this up. Um, we'll download this as a Debian package. Save us the downloads. I wonder can this just be installed as Sonic? Uh oh Sonic Visualizer, it can. Alright, cool. Yeah, install. So I'll actually remove that from the downloads. Oh, I removed the milkshake there as well. Oops. Download that again. Hack the box. Alright, and let's have a look at this in Sonic Visualizer. So we'll open Sonic Visualizer, give it the milkshake.mp3 and it loads up here and let's see what options we have available to us. 
we can add waveform. Let's do this all channels. Okay. Uh, oops, can I undo that? Yeah, control and control Z, you can just undo. We can add spectrogram, all channels. And you can see that we have found a flag. Let's see what else we could do in here. Add melodic range. So there could be it could have just as easily been a flag waiting for us in here somewhere. Um let's go back and add peak frequent frequency spectrogram. Again, could have been a flag in here. And add spectrum. Don't know about there, maybe. <laughs> um, Alright, yeah, well, we got the flag there. I thought we might have needed to move over to Windows to um, to do this one, but apparently not. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thanks.